hello everyone so last time we implemented this uh, landscape material with uh, different layers and scale noise based scale texture blending in the distance and the nearby region and uh, we were limited to only to the base color so now I'm going to show you uh, what to do with our normal map because as you can see in, in this area normal map is not blended and because of that we get this tiling effect so let's without further ado let's get started I'll open my landscape material here like this and this is the relevant lens material function and if you are not sure any of these functions are created how are these created you can refer to previous videos so this is the normal map input and we have just used it like this and only using the base texture scale I have given a tile in here and just directly input it like here so instead of that what I need to do is I need to make this uh, normal map effective only in the nearby region that means only in this area so when it goes further I don't need the normal maps that's because uh, it's not important in the distance and we can't see that detail so right so what I'm going to do is this is the current normal map and I'm going to create another texture another constant like this and I'm, I'm going to make it 0 0 1 so this represents a flat normal map that means with the if I change from this to this then the normal map change from this uh, this normals to a flat normal so what I'm going to do is we have this distance blend in here and I'm going to lerp this to values using the same blend in alpha and this one with this one so as we go further we will not see the normal maps so let's compile and see what happens okay so it is compiled so now as you can see we have these uh, normal maps in the nearby region but as it goes into the further areas we don't see the normal maps anymore so that's the intended effect I need it and that's all for this video and in the next video I will show you how to expose these metallic specular roughness MSU opacity these properties outside the material function so that we can access them here and assign different values to each landscape layers thank you very much see you in the next video goodbye